Hai yo <laughs> Hey what's up y'all Hey what's up People It's your man Kamari Where's the goofy head on And um Hey A lot of crazy Crazy topics that People from here Wanted me to do on my YouTube and I mean, it's not some stuff I would regularly do, but you know, I like my viewers and I like my friends and stuff on my Facebook and my YouTube, so I always try to do topics. Um, one viewer does want me to do again about skinny jeans what I think about she said fat people in skinny jeans I'm not gonna do that topic right now um cause I got a couple other ones from Douglas country town I figure I'll go ahead and do so I'll them down you know what I'm saying cause I do forget um <clears throat> First topic is is yeah is it cheating if your partner is on a substance? Oh wow. Um I don't know because I never had a girl cheat on me while she was on substance. I mean I never really ever too much went through that you know so I really don't know um, um, how to actually what do you call it I don't really know how to say that or um, put any assumptions on that um, but somebody asked me that apparently I guess their girl was flirting with somebody else why she was tipsy but when she's sober she's not doing that and um <clears throat> when she's tipsy apparently um or he or she kind of you know it was a girl that asked me but i say that he or she if they're on the substance would that be considered cheating if they have a partner personally um my view, I really don't think that because I think that you're on a substance, you, you kind of drink, you get tipsy, but if you know where you are, who you're with, um, you have boundaries that you, you know of, then no. I think that if you overstep your boundaries, yeah, maybe. Um, there are boundaries that you should not, um, I guess, uh, not go past. <laughs> um, if you smoke, you know, ganja, and you flirt with her, and you're a lesbian, and you flirt with a guy, you're still a lesbian, no matter if you flirt with that guy or not, then change your lifestyle. Substance cannot change who you are. Um, it can change how you carry yourself or how you act towards someone, but it does not change the person you are. So if you were gay and you smoke weed, you're still gay. If you're lesbian and you smoke weed, you're still lesbian. <laughs> if you're trans and you smoke weed and, and you get on gay man, you're still trans and you're still you, no matter what. I mean, substance can change who you are. But then that person went to another detail about what if your truth comes out when you're drinking? Or what if the truth comes out when you're on substance? Um, if your truth comes out, then that's not a good thing. Because if you have a crush on somebody, and your substance and your substance make you 
want to interact with the person that you have a crush on um, and to further than you're supposed to, yeah, I consider that cheating because your substance doesn't make you do things. You are the person that does things. So you will be responsible for your actions just as if you were sober. I mean, that's just my opinion on it. You know, I'm gonna stick to it. <laughs> uh, no matter if you drink, no matter if you smoke, no matter what, your substance doesn't make you do what you do. You make you do what you do. It just relaxes you. Um, <clears throat> and me as a, um, a beer drinker, um, I flirt, but I know my limitations and I know how far I go with it. You know what I'm saying? Um, not to disrespect or intergage in someone else's relationship or mess it up or nothing like that. I don't do all that. Because I don't like drama. Y'all already know me. <laughs> Come on, YouTube. Um, um, <clears throat> do you think it's wrong for your partner to act? Your partner, a straight person, to act? different if they're the opposite. Mm, no. Um, I know a lot of women that are lesbian, they flirt with guys, and a lot of guys buy them drinks and stuff. It's a hustle to me, I think that, you know. Um, I flirt with a lot of straight girls and bisexual girls, as well as I be with lesbian women, but do I think it makes them the opposite of who they are. No, nah, because they were that way before they smoked, drank, whatever they did. And it's still gonna be that same way and that's just all there is to it. Now if she's straight then she was straight. If she's gay then she was she was gay. If she is lesbian then uh, apparently she was left me in the beginning. Right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know where these questions are. Um, a couple people from here in Douglas asked me about my videos and they seen my videos, so they asked me to topics, crazy topics, you know what I'm saying? Topics I don't usually do. I told you this is a new year, so topics are going to be off the wall. Um, I guess, I don't know how long this video is, but like I say, your lifestyle doesn't change who you are, no matter if you smoke, drink, whatever. Um, you still the same person before and after you engage with the substance that you use. Um, and um, I guess your, uh, I guess in the cases your other side shows, right? So. If you're a lesbian, sometimes you flirt with guys, but you're not into them, but you flirt with them. And you're still a lesbian, but you won't have sex with them, so that's the whole case. I'm trying to put out there that your lifestyle doesn't change no matter what you do. If you were gay, you're still gay. If you're straight, you're still straight. If you're a lesbian, you're still a lesbian no matter what. Your substance doesn't change who you are. Um, just because you engage or relax and you hang out and you flirt, flirting is free. I mean, you're going to flirt with other people. I mean, I got a friend that flirts with nothing but gay guys when she's tipsy and she's a stud. And, and she's still a stud, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. Y'all know what to do. Always drop your opinions at the bottom, comment, subscribe, I don't really care if you're ready or not, but you already know I got much love for y'all, alright YouTube, peace.